The Paldean region in Pokemon Go is coming out, and we are starting with some new Pokemon. We have the starters, and we actually have a brand new Ice Dragon Pokemon that is going to be very effective, that's going to be starting off in 10 kilometer eggs. So in this video, we're going to go through a lot of the other Pokemon in this region, and we're going to start breaking down what some of the game-breaking top Pokemon in the Paldean region coming to Pokemon Go, hopefully in the near future, that will affect the game and have an impact on our Pokedex. So welcome to the Trainer Club, here we go! Obviously, we have the starters coming out. That is going to be Quaycoco, Quaxley, as well as Sprigatito. And all of them do have evolutions. And while I think that these Pokemon are kind of cool looking, kind of humanoid looking in some regards, and then we have a Fire Crocodile, I think that these Pokemon look decent. But what I'm more excited about is some of the other Pokemon that are coming out during this generation that look like they could have a big impact in the game. More specific, there is one Dragon Ice type Pokemon that you're definitely going to want to stick around to see. We've already talked about it, but we're going to be doing some comparisons and checking all these Pokemon out. So let's get started. Starting right off the bat, we have a Pokemon called Colossal, okay? So this Pokemon maxes us at 2,659. So although this Pokemon is gonna be double weak to water, this Pokemon does look pretty cool for its stamina stat that's gonna be a 242. So while this is not a game-breaking Pokemon for a meta attacker, it does look like it might have some play in PvP, but we will see because all these Pokemon, just as a reminder, can have a nerf into them and it heavily depends on what movesets these Pokemon are gonna get. Next, we have Garganackle. Okay, this Pokemon maxes out at 3,065. I think it's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. And one of the Pokemon that I think is actually really cool is going to be Annihilate. Annihilate maxes out at 3,695. It's going to have an attack stat of 220, a defense of 178, and a stamina of 242. In the Mabe series games, this Pokemon is able to evolve when you use Rage Fist. Okay, so this is an evolution from Primeape, ghost and fighting type Pokemon. Very cool looking Pokemon at that. I'm excited for this one. It's going to have weakness of Psychic, Ghost, Flying, and Dark in single weakness, and it's going to resist three things double time of bug fighting as well as normal so I do think this Pokemon does have quite a bit of play in the Master League maybe but more importantly in the Premier League and as well in the Ultra League. Next we're gonna have Armorage. This Pokemon's gonna max out at 3625 as well as Cerulege. This Pokemon maxes out at 3586. First one is gonna be a Fire Psychic, the second one is gonna be a Fire Ghost and so this Pokemon is a play on the Bisharp, one of these bipedal Pokemon. Very cool looking, excited to see these Pokemon in the game. Not for their stats in specific but because they are cool looking Pokemon. And let's not forget that there is a fighting type Tauros in this generation. Next, we're gonna highlight Tinkaton. Tinkaton is a fairy and a steel type Pokemon. It maxes out at 2,544. It has an attack value of 155. It has a defense of 196 and a stamina of 198. The reason why I like this Pokemon is because of where it maxes out, that it could have a big impact in the Ultra League for PvP, and it only has two weaknesses, which are going to be ground and fire, which is very impressive with a myriad of different resistances, including a triple resistance to dragon, which which is pretty impressive. And then we have Grimmsnarl, Dark and Fairy type, maxes out at 3,222, attack value of a 327 and a stamina of 216. Then we also have the Dragapult, maxes out at 3,993. This Pokemon is actually going to be a dragon and a ghost type combination, competing with the Giratina, but not so much because Giratina is very strong here. But it does have an attack value of 266, a defense of 170, and a stamina of 205. And let's not forget about the Bisharp goes into King Gambit. Okay, so this Pokemon, heavy tankier looking Pokemon. It is going to be a dark and a steel type. It maxes out at 4,086 with an attack of 238, a defense of 203, and a stamina of 225. So this Pokemon looks like it could have quite a bit of play in the Master League. Very excited to see this Pokemon come out and see how it does stack up. And one of my favorite Pokemon of this generation is actually going to be Great Tusk. This is going to be a ground and a fighting type Pokemon. This Pokemon's stats are absolutely out of this world. It's going to max out at 4,550. It has an attack of 249, a defense of 209, and a stamina of 251. Wow, this Pokemon is very impressive, really cool looking Pokemon, and it looks exactly like the Donphan evolution. And I'm expecting this Pokemon to get nerfed, but it is a very impressive Pokemon and one of those Pokemon that with the right moveset could definitely shake up fighting or ground category. Maybe not the top spot, but one of the top three for sure. Then we have the Brute Bonnet. Interesting, similar looking Pokemon right there. It maxes out at 4,018, attack value of 232, a defense of 190, and a stamina of 244. And the next Pokemon we're gonna have is Fluttermane. Okay, so this Pokemon does look like an evolution. However, it does not evolve from anything. This Pokemon is a ghost and a fairy type combination. Max EP of 4,179 with an attack value of 280, a defense of 235, and a stamina of 146. This Pokemon with the right move could definitely make an impact in the game. Very excited to see this Pokemon be introduced into the game and see how the stats 
in the moveset combination stack up. We are in need of a very powerful fairy type dual moved Pokemon. So hopefully, although this one will be a little bit glassy, could do the trick. And we have the Slither Wing, max out at 4,102, bug and fighting type combination, followed by Sandy Shocks, maxing out at 3,867. A lot of these Pokemon, as you do see, have some pretty cool play evolutions from some of the Kanto Pokemon in other generations. Even though some of these Pokemon are not direct evolutions, they do not evolve from or evolve into anything. And next, we're going to have Iron Treads, a ground and a steel type, maxing out at 3,869. With an attack value of 227, a defense of 216, and a stamina of 207. Then we have the Iron Bundle. Obviously, once again, pretty cool looking Pokemon. This is going to be an Ice as well as a Water type Pokemon. Gosh, it looks very familiar. Maxes out at 3,808 with an attack of 266. Then we have the Iron Hands. This one is quite a cool Pokemon. It's going to be a Fighting and an Electric type. It's going to max out at 4,649. An attack value of 245. A defense of 117, which is quite low. But the stamina is 319. Holy smokes, that is going to be a tanky stamina Pokemon. So this Pokemon, very cool. Very interested to see what a lot of these Pokemon's moves do come about to be. Will they get dual typing? Will they have Stab, which is same type attack bonus from having Electric and Fighting types? Or will they be favored in one, not get the right move set, and fall a little bit short? Only time will tell. And then we have the Iron Juggalus. Once again, a very similar looking Pokemon. This one's going to be a Dark and a Flying type Pokemon. Maxes out at 3,929 with an attack of 249, a defense of 179, and a stamina of 214. Then we have the Iron Moth. This one's going to be a Fire and a Poison type Pokemon. It's going to max out at 4,346 with an attack value of 281, a defense of 196, and a stamina of 190. An attack value of 281 is very, very strong in the game. So it will probably get nerfed a little bit, but man, oh man, that is a strong type Pokemon and a very unique at that. And we have the Iron Thorns, maxing out at 4,250 with an attack of 250, a defense of 200, and a stamina of 225. This one is going to be a Rock and Electric type Pokemon. Does look kind of familiar, <laughs> obviously, but we're going to continue on. One of my favorite Pokemon in this generation, just because of the looks, is going to be Sheen Pao. Okay, so I might be butchering some of these moves. So if I am, I apologize. Drop in the comments. Let me know. I'm sure you guys have already been blasting the comments here. Get your life together. Get your act together. I will, eventually. This is going to be a Dark and a Ice type Pokemon. It's going to max out at 3,764 with an attack value of 261, a defense of 167, and a stamina of 190. Okay, so I am a big fan of big cat Pokemon. So this one is obviously going to be one that I'm hunting out the 100, and I'm going to be maxing one of these out just because of its looks. But it's a pretty cool combination at that. And then we have the Ting Lu, which is going to be a Dark and a Ground type. Interesting looking Pokemon, maxing out at 3,994. We're going to get Chi Yu, which is going to max out at 3,908. Dark and a Fire type combination. And one of the coolest Pokemon that I see in this generation is going to be a Dark and a Dragon type combination. It's going to be called Roaring Moon, maxing out at 4,764, looking exactly like a combination of Hydreigon and Salamence. With an attack of 280, a defense of 196, and a stamina of 233, this Pokemon is very cool, very powerful, can't wait to see its moveset. And then we have the Iron Valiant, which is going to be a fairy and a fighting type Pokemon, maxing out at 3,943, with an attack value of 279. And then we have Coridon. Okay, so this Pokemon, extremely cool. Fighting, dragon, combination, very very beastly Pokemon. This is one of the legendary Pokemon that is going to be in this generation. Maxing out at 4,491. It has an attack of 263, a defense of 223, and a stamina of 205. So this Pokemon evenly keeled beast Pokemon. Can't wait to see its movesets and how it integrates in the game. And then we have the Electric Dragon combination, legendary, that is going to be the counterpart to this Pokemon. It's going to be named Maraden. Could be pronouncing that wrong once again. 4,491, same exact stat values as the other one. And these dragon combination Pokemon are going to be extremely impactful in the game as well. So let's compare this to the Zekrom. The Zekrom is going to max out at 4,565 with an attack of 275, a defense of 211, and a stamina of 205. In comparison to the Maridon, that's going to have an attack of 263, a defense of 223, and a stamina of 205. So the defense of this Pokemon is going to be a little higher with a little bit of a dropped attack. And then we have the Dark and the Dragon combination Hydreigon that is going to be competing against the Roaring Moon. The Roaring Moon, attack 280, which is going to be higher than the Hydreigon. Defense of 1 196, which is also higher than the Hydreigon for right now, and the stamina of 233, which is going to beat out the Hydreigon that's at 211. Okay, and the last Pokemon. I know it is not a legendary Pokemon, and it is already going to be introduced to 10 kilometer eggs on the 15th of September, and this Pokemon is going to be Frigibax. Okay, so Frigibax is going to be a dragon and an ice type Pokemon. The reason why I'm so excited about this Pokemon is because of the combination. We need a very powerful ice type Pokemon. While we do have Mamoswine, while there are powerful ice type combination moves and secondary attack moves of some of the Pokemon out there, we do not have a purely beast stab boosted ice type Pokemon in the game. Eventually, we are going to get black in 
in white curum, which could do extremely well, but this is a non-legendary. It will be rare, but it's going to be exciting. This one goes into Bax Caliber, maxing out supposedly at 4,792 as an Ice-type Pokemon and a Dragon-type. While it could top the charts in the Ice-type category, we'll have stiff competition in the Dragon category, especially because we have Beast Dragons out there, and I do expect a nerf on this Pokemon, and I'm really praying that they allow this Pokemon to be the Beast Ice-type that we do desire and need in the game to give a little bit of balance. I know Ice types are extremely strong and very, very powerful against Dragon and Flying type combinations, but I think that's okay. The attack value on this Pokemon is 280, the defense is 184, and the stamina is 251. Okay, guys, so that is the Paldea notable Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I suggest you guys go through the generation, check out which ones you like, drop in the comments if some of them are the ones I covered, or if there's one that I'm missing that maybe you guys love too. So, can't wait for this region, can't wait for the 15th, start hatching those eggs on that date if you desire, but just remember, they're probably going to be rare, it's going to take some of your resources, but eventually it will become more common and more common, similar to as the Larvesta is right now, rare, but now it will be in 5 kilometer eggs this season, the Frigibax is taking over that rare spot, so don't fret, don't stress, don't worry, eventually it will become available if you don't want to pay to win that Pokemon, or maybe you're feeling lucky and you'll get it out of that too. So, thank you guys for being here as always to all of my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members, everybody takes your support, subscription, participation, 2 xl I'm going to see you guys out in the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and rating all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.